Some of you are starting from absolutely zero equipment. All I had was this goofy elliptical. But if you have money to spend, you can build a fire ass home gym just like I was able to. I had a mountable pull up slash push up bar, a bench, some light dumbbells, this strange five foot barbell, and a couple of cement plastic plates. The dip station gave me a chest cramp while doing dips, and I hit my head on my roof while doing pull ups. What was I able to accomplish with this? My dad taught me what sets and reps were, as well as a few basic exercises. If you don't know, a rep is one movement of an exercise, like one push up, and a set is a bunch of reps done after another, like 10 push ups. I made some pretty decent gains, lost some belly fat, and got some small tricep definition. Even though I didn't become that jacked at the time it felt crazy fulfilling starting my fitness journey i wasn't able to train my legs much without a squat rack and enough weight though but that's how it is for level one so what should you buy first get yourself some dip bars and a door mountable pull-up bar these unlock a fuck ton of exercises for your upper body for really cheap with the dip bars you can do chestless tricep dips inverted rows leg raises l-sits l-sit pull-ups and incline push-ups and with the pull-up bar you can do pull-ups, chin-ups, dead hangs, and any hanging core exercise like leg raises. The next best cheap option is some resistance bands, which are the closest bootleg option you'll find to regular gym cables. You can use these to make your existing exercises harder or easier, rehab and mobilize joints, and do light movements where you can't move that much weight like curls, lateral raises, external rotations, and tricep extensions. Make sure you buy some at varying lengths and weights. You should also get a heavy-duty backpack to put weights inside and wear as a method of making your exercises harder by making them heavier if you don't have many heavy household objects like books or rice bags then you can purchase some weight plates like 25s 10s and 5s these will help immensely and can carry over very well when you move on to level 2 you can also get some ankle weights for pretty cheap which can also be put onto a barbell and backpack as well as be attached to your feet for things like leg raises and lastly order things like tennis balls foam rollers mats and more these are great for rehab and warm-up purposes like rolling out your muscles after a workout to boost recovery the cons of this stage is that you don't really have any free weights so you have have to use body weight which to be fair some people may like more but like i said before you can't really train your legs much you can try with things like weighted lunges glute bridges and step ups here's a list of shit to buy in order of priority from level one door mounted pull-up bar dip bars resistance bands backpack weight plates ankle weights foam roller mats and tennis balls all right let's move on to level two And at the end of this module, I have a great money saving tip when it comes to buying home gym equipment. After a while of being around high level one, I had enough. The gains were pretty good, yes, but I knew I needed to get my legs up to par, get a squat rack, and get more weight on the bar. That shit was fire. Before I got a squat rack, I literally had to set up a bench press by throwing the bar up and trying to lie down on a bench with it. I even made my own shitty squat rack using a bunch of boxes stacked on top of each other that could only hold up like 80 pounds. What I think defines level 2 is getting a squat rack, a bench, a barbell, and some Olympic plates. These are way more expensive than anything in level 1, but they're also the foundations for building true size and strength from free weights. You can't call yourself a good gym slash home gym without these things. For a bar, I recommend any power bar that isn't classified as a squat or deadlift specialty bar. Those bars have special modifications like the squat bar being thicker and heavier and the deadlift bar being bendier and narrower. Just buy an Olympic bar and make sure you can't see the nuts and bolts on the sides of the bar since that usually means it's less durable and has lower weight capacity. Do not cheap out on your barbell. Even if the $80 bootleg barbell seems nice with its 400 pound weight capacity, that shit will snap into two tiny barbells when you try to build anything that resembles strength. Any weight capacity below around 600 to 800 is not worth it. Trust me on this. You can get much stronger on a barbell than you think. For weight plates, make sure they're Olympic with a two inch hole. And to save money, make sure they are just simple iron cast plates. Unless you're trading for a power or Olympic lifting meet, you do not need bumpers or fancy calibrated plates. As long as you have plates that allow you to add more weight over time, you're fine. For this, make sure you buy a variety of plates, at least two of every plate leading up to 45 pounds. Some of you may also be concerned by the noise slash floor damage of iron plates. So what I like to do is just use two mats on each side of the bar where I'm doing my lift and let the plates hit the mat instead. This has completely save my floor from horrific damage for the beloved squat rack I recommend the Fitness Reality Power Cage. If you buy a different rack, make sure it comes with safety arms. Please do not cheap out on your safety arms or your rack. Once it breaks on you or your safeties fail, you'll wish you have paid the extra $100. Just simply getting a squat rack when I already had a bar in plates allowed me to start seriously training things like squats and bench presses. This is when I really started making noticeable gains that my family saw and were like, holy shit, estas creciendo. For a bench, I recommend an adjustable one. Not one of these flimsy ones that you can get on Amazon for like 50 bucks. I'm talking about a 
decently heavy duty one that looks like this. Definitely do not cheap out on your bench because the adjustments could fail and you'll be sent to the shadow realm with your barbell. Here's my top exercises that you can do with all of this equipment. Deadlift and its variations, floor press, rows and barbell row variations, barbell curls, shrugs, squats and barbell squat variations, good mornings, standing overhead presses, bench presses and its variations, and skull crushers. I would also recommend two pairs of adjustable dumbbell handles so you can use your current plates you just bought to do dumbbell movements like curls and split squats. You do need to have a good amount of smaller plates like 2.5s, 5s, and 10s though for them to work well. They might suck and feel a bit clunky, but that's just how it is with a home gym. Unless you want to pay like $400 for some mechanical dumbbells that only go up to 60 pounds, here's the top exercises you can do with the dumbbells. Split squats, lunges, step ups, Romanian slash single leg Romanian deadlifts, rows, bench presses, dumbbell curls and skull crushes, lateral raises, front raises, etc. Lastly, you should get a leg extension attachment which can allow you to get even more leg volume and even directly target your hamstrings at home with hamstring curls. When I say don't cheap out, just use your common sense to make sure what you're buying is durable, will last a good amount of time, and can come with proper accessories. Like only get a rack if you can get the safety arms. However, the equipment doesn't have to be some ultra pristine quality shit, which is what brings me to finally tell you my money saving tip. If you really want to get these for cheaper without a big quality drop, hit up any online marketplace app like ebay craigslist and facebook marketplace there's usually tons of people selling their old gym equipment in decent quality for so much cheaper than the original price it's not pretty but when building a home gym this is the way it is man unless you have thousands to spend here's a list of shit to buy in order of priority from level two barbell olympic plates squat rack bench adjustable dumbbell handles and a leg extension and that's gonna wrap it up for level two the final level is for those of you who want to go all out on your home gym empire. I would highly advise making gains through level 1 and 2 before moving on to level 3, since it will teach you to make gains off of minimal equipment and solid simple exercises before going all fancy. The next best thing to buy are some specialty barbells. These allow you to do an even bigger variety of movements using your weight plates. Here's what I recommend buying in order. Trap bar, Swiss bar, safety squat bar, easy bar, and the cambered bar. I haven't bought most of these, but it should be the same process as buying a regular Bar. The next best thing, and the last thing you should buy is a cable station slash pulley system. Pulley system actually isn't insanely expensive, but I would still classify it as a luxury home gym item. An actual adjustable cable station like these ones that you see in a real gym are worth over thousands. If you can afford it, go right ahead because these adjustable cable stations are sick as fuck. And that's actually mostly it for level 3. Of course, there's several other gym machines and items like dumbbells, kettlebells, medicine balls, etc. Which you can buy if you'd like, but in my opinion, these should be the last things you buy simply because of how inflexible they are are compared to how much you pay for them. With preset dumbbells and kettlebells, you have to buy a completely new pair when you want to change weight, which can get absurdly expensive even for level 3. And with medicine slash yoga balls, you simply just don't need them if building muscle is your primary goal. Here are the top exercises you can do with a cable station. Chest flies, cable lateral raises, bicep curls and tricep extensions, lap pull downs, cable crunches, hip abductions, cable shrugs, and seated rows. I'm actually barely even at level 3 currently, but still managed to build a great amount of muscle bulking. I'm telling you brother, 90% of your potential for gains can be made in only level 2. Here's a list of shit to buy in order of priority from level 3. Specialty bars, cable station, and then any other gym machines and accessories. And that's all I have to share with you in this video brother. Of course, you can take your time with accumulating these items. You can even skip level 1 if you can go straight to level 2, but I wouldn't really recommend that. However, if you have no funds, which is probably many of you, then you can still make considerable gains. You should save up to buy some items from level 1 of course, but I also have a video on how you can train from home for completely free and make the gains you've been desiring. So what are you waiting for? Go start working and take action. You can like and subscribe if you like, and I hope you have a great day.